It's the Fabulous Ensemble brought to you by And Theatre Company. And Theatre Company in New York City. Very nice people who do theater. Ah, that's their new theme song. And we are the Ensemble, the uh, <laughs> And Theatre's resident acting company. Hey, I'd like to introduce uh, you to them and them to you. Um, although I don't know who you are. Please type in who you are in the comment section. If you're watching, just let us know that you're watching and maybe I'll say something terrible about you. No, I'd always say something nice. Hey, speaking of something nice, here is the cast. We have Taylor Edwards. Hello, Taylor Edwards. We have Mike Lawler. Michael, how are you doing? We got Christine Newman down there. Hi, Christine. We have Angelica Smith from the uh, all the way over on the left coast, and I'm your host, Scotty Watson. But I'm actually going to play today, so I'll, I'll I'll be playing too in a rousing long form called uh, "That Makes Me Think of." Hey, speaking of uh, Ant Theater Company, if you see these fabulous actors and you must cast them in in your next production, there's a casting. Uh, uh, email address you just connect up with us and we'll connect you with them and also if you really like what and theater company is doing you want to support it throw us five bucks right it's five bucks it's five lousy bucks what the hell and the link for that is down there too so uh we are going to do this is a form that has monologues that lead to scenes that lead to new monologues each thing that is inspired by the thing that came before and uh, we are going to start off with a suggestion that we got on the interwebs from Beth Ann Broadhurst. Thank you, Beth Ann. And your suggestion is a collection of buttons. All the buttons. Not just a, any old collection of buttons, but all the buttons. I'm going to ask everybody uh, to turn off their, their cameras and mute your microphones. Go backstage, if you will, except for you, Taylor. And uh, when I say um, a collection of buttons, all the buttons, what's that make you think of? Okay. All the buttons. That makes me think of... When I was a little girl and we would go to my grandma's house and she would have this really ancient sewing machine where you had to do the pedals and make it sew. And she had boxes and boxes of buttons and costume jewelry and, and just the best little shiny things. And I love shiny things. And, and I, I never got to play with any of it. And I was so sad, but the buttons were, they were all these different colors. And, and then later on in life, when something would fall off, a button would fall off of my shirt or whatever, I got to tell you, I was very sad because I would always love the shirt that the button fell off of. The buttons never fell off of any shirts that I actually didn't like. And, and, but the miracle thing was when I would take this shirt to the dry cleaner, because it was always a dry cleaning shirt that had to do that, those people performed magic at, because they found the button and they put the button back on and I never got charged for it. And it was always such this miracle that would happen whenever I lost a button on a shirt. Oh, very nice. Very nice, Ralph. You always picked up the shiny things. <laughs> Whatever's in front of you, pick up the shiny thing. That's you. Uh, Margie, I love, I love the, I love the way it, it sparkles. You know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I understand that whatever is in front of you is the most important thing, but. Our son's tooth is not that important, okay? We just put it aside, put the dollar under the pillow. That's it. We Margie. don't have to hold it forever. Margie, this is our son's very first tooth. For crying out loud, look at this. Look at how precious it is. Just, oh, my God. I remember when it came out of his mouth, when it was just, just sticking right there and it was... I know, sweetie, and I'm totally embarrassed that a five-year-old has already had a filling, so I really don't want to see it. It's beautiful. 
I, there's even a little bit, a little, little bit of, uh, I think there's a little bit of blood right there on the, on the bottom. I'm not, okay, I'm not Ralph, you're not listening to me. This is not making me happy. You picking up anything that shines in front of you does not make me happy. But, well, look, look, Margie, I want you to be happy, but I, but on the same, same token, I mean, this is our son's very first tooth and it's beautiful and I am going to put I'm going to make a necklace out of this and I'm going to keep it I'm going to keep it and I'm going to give it to him when he graduates high school I think that's a wonderful idea I, I love that you thought of that all by yourself I think you should do that absolutely well, well thanks Margie I, mean, I, uh, I oh. like it when I like it. You know, I feel, uh, I feel, I feel confident like now, like maybe I could go clean out that garage now. I mean, that gave me confidence. Well, I, no, I always try to think of positive things about what you do. And that is one of them. Positive. Make a necklace, clean the garage. All right. All right. I'm going to do that. I'm going to clean that garage like it's never been cleaned. And then... I am going to make dinner for us both. You are my man. Wonderful, Mike and Christine. So that story makes me think of when I was a little kid, if I lost a tooth, I guess my parents didn't think it was very valuable either <laughs> because I would get uh, $1 in dimes. And a student of mine lost a tooth last week. And I asked them, how much did the fairy, the tooth fairy give you? And they said, $20, $20. So I would take that $1 in dimes and I'd go to the little local uh, mini mart and I'd, I'd buy a pack of bubble gum and I'd go with my brother because I was a small child, my brother, David. And uh, one of those times I learned what sales tax was because I had $1 and I wanted the bubble gum that was pink and costed, uh, cost 99 cents. And the lady told me I couldn't have it because it, with tax, it was over a dollar. So I was devastated. And that's how I learned about sales tax. Okay. Okay. I, I really need that gum, man. I really need, I'm, I, I gotta tell you, I gotta have that gum. Hey, hey. You gotta give it to me for, for 99 cents. I got a dollar, I could pay, I could pay a penny over asking price, but not, not a penny over the asking, asking price. Hey, Sandy, Sandy, huh. yeah. Sandy, I want you to yeah. listen to me. Uh huh. I'm not in this business to make somebody who needs gum that badly uh, uncomfortable. You want the gum, you take the gum. Do you hear me, Sandy? Thank you. The gum is not the problem. God. The gum is the problem, Sandy. Is why do you you need the gum so bad? You have a you have a deep seated need for the gum. Here, take look. I'm counting money. Take Thank a big you. stack Thank of money. You. I don't Thank care. You. I but you are mm. jonesing because of this gum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's it's true. I I am. I got a bad man. I started on. I started on, you know, chiclet gum when I was a kid, and, and now I'm up to, now I'm up to frickin' two, two pieces of bubble gum, a uh, chew, yeah. Sandy, Aaron, is... it's, it's bad, it's bad, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry I had to see it like this, but. It's not just your sugar, Jones, it's not just that you're addicted to sugar, mm -mm. it's the corporate structure that got you addicted to sugar. Mm. Sandy, that's what you gotta stand up to. Here's some more money, take some money. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Of money. I don't care. Thank you. You're, you're, you're just so generous, man. That's really cool. I don't care because I'm, I'm that this is what it, this is what it is, man. Mm -hmm. It's the mm -hmm. corporate structure that got you hooked on the sugar and it's the sugar that got you hooked on the gum. We got to fight Aaron, the power. Aaron, you got to get me off the gum, man. I, I'm asking, I'm begging. I, I don't want to be on the gum anymore. Well, Hey, well, take some more money. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You got enough money for good drugs. You, you could go out and score some cocaine or, or a couple of vials of crack, crush it down and back in the, I don't know how it works. Here's some more money. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just saying. 
Yeah. That's how we stick it to the man. Yes. That's how we stick it to the man. You and I, we get hooked on hard drugs. Hard drugs. Okay. Oh, I just I got oh, one sure, question, man. Aaron, for you. Of course, one, of course. Sandy, and, go ahead. And it's an important one because I'm yeah. already, you know, Jones and overcome, and I feel like I'm sure. really already speeding. I'm yeah. not sure that cocaine is, you know, maybe the best for my, you know, maybe maybe I do a calm down drug. I, what do you think? Cause my skull is itchy. Oh, uh, here, here's some money. Go buy some dandruff shampoo. Thank you. That's gonna help. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Taylor and Scotty, that was amazing. And um, uh, from sugar to uh, to drugs to dandruff shampoo, um, uh, I <laughs> I I was addicted as a kid to sugar. I mean, I, I would go, you know, yeah, uh, five five cent candy bars, ten cent candy, bars, buy a dollar's worth, and like eat it all at once in my bedroom. Right there was a in the paper bag that it came in, and I would get so I just I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. I'd eat till I got sick. In the the it was the chewy candy, right? It was the stuff that the sugar daddies and the 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 the, car, the caramel the caramels with chocolate around it, all that stuff. Oh my god! And then, you know. Sugar was was good. Alcohol, yeah, that was the next for a guy like me. Alcohol, drugs, I could do. I, I'll be honest with you. Marijuana made me really paranoid. I could never wish I was cool, but um, it just got me. Everybody knew, you know, right? You know, I'm high. You're sharing with me fine, but don't eat it all at once, Louise. Oh, come on. You know, I need it, but you always eat everything all at once. And then I can't get any. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Hey, <sighs> all right. You keep yours. I'll just get my own. I mean, I think Pringles are for one person only. I mean, it's just a small canister, right? That is a one person serving. Well, fine, you eat the Pringles then. I'm happy with my Skittles, which you can't have. I appreciate that. Uh, you, you understand Skittles are like a kid thing. I mean, you are an adult. But they taste the rainbow. Louise, I feel like you're judging me. Fruity candy is fruity candy. Yeah. And fruity candy is made for kids. Okay. It's made for kids. You, you're, okay. Ugh. Bethany, you have been an adult for the last three years and they've been the worst three years of my life how can you say that because you, no, you have no curfew you don't have to um you don't have to tell your parents where you're going and uh, you i don't have to justify why i want to eat skittles that's true you don't oh my gosh you 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 don't have to justify. You you're right. Oh my God! I it's just oh wow. And I don't have to justify. I don't have to justify my lion, my little stuffy lion that I never show anybody because I had him since I was a baby. That's I right. To, I don't. Yeah. I told you, let it go. Just let it go. Oh, isn't it so much better this way? It's so much better. Isn't he cute? Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> chocolate is completely different in Canada than in the United States. As a matter of fact, uh, chocolate is different almost everywhere. 
than in the United States. Uh, chocolate in Canada is, uh, is, is based on the British formula, which has more sugar in it and uh, less of the milky uh, milk chocolate thing that goes on. As a matter of fact, when I first tasted American milk chocolate, I thought it tasted like puke. Now, hang on. And I have found out recently that there's a reason for that. It's because most American chocolate that's based on uh, Hershey's chocolate is uh, is because they, they, they've taken the milk and they've slightly spoiled it. And they've created something called butyric acid in it. Uh, American chocolate has that. And that's that slightly barfy kind of flavor in chocolate. You put it in and it's like, mmm, tastes good. And it also tastes like puke. Hmm. 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 I don't like this. I I'm I'm really working very hard and I, I have to tell you I don't like this at all it's disgusting actually it's it's just the worst mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's awful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep yep um Marjorie mm. you've been we've been working together for uh, three years in our our, uh, our kitchen, and I thought we would finally um, nail this uh, recipe, but mm -mm. I, I am... Uh, mm -mm. No, this is bad. This is bad. Drew, I knew that you were working on, you know, perfecting this... Uh, um, I don't know what to call it, really. I... I reduced the, the amount of leucitherin in, in the batch this time. I, I, I took almost all the leucitherin mm -hmm. out. And mm -hmm. Because it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's the funky, it's, it's, the, it's, a, it's a, the, the, you know, three day old uh, Drew, milk. This is really bad, but I have to tell you, it's, I can't stop eating it. So I think you've hit, well, Success. I'm just gonna say it. Your your homemade little chocolate mushroom caviar combination has finally hit a moment of success. And it's awful. Mm -hmm. it, it it it's a, it's 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 awfully sweet. It's awfully mm -hmm. no no. It's just terrible. I mean, I obviously can't stop eating them because they're compelling in their flavor profile. I don't even know what the words are. They're so just disgusting. They're disgusting, but you mm -hmm. can't stop eating them. Mm -mm. Well, I can, I can make a business plan out of that. I think you can. I think you've got a success here. I'm... I'm reminded of that whole thing with um, those books where they ate those jelly beans that they never knew what they were going to get. This is like that. I love it. Disgusting, but you mm -hmm. can't stop eating them. Exactly, my darling. You <laughs> made it happen. You're a success. I love you so oh, much. I'm just going to go back to the Pringles because you can't stop eating them. That's one of the things that they say you can't do. Pringles, eat one, 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 one. Um, and also, ugh, it's the salt. Uh, forget the chocolate. It's the salt. Now, if you could put salt on chocolate, that would be something that would be worth binging on. Because binging on milk chocolate is... I mean, it hurts your molars, you know, hurts them like crazy because uh, sweet. But if you put salt on it, mix it all up, that would be something I could really get into. And I'm not saying like just for a minute, but 
into. Jacob, I can't hear you. Speak up. Jesus. Hang on. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying that I'm I'm thrilled, Jordan, that you would, would come and, and and have lunch with me today. I mean, uh, I well, I hope you don't mind. I skipped ahead to the dessert. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. Me too. I always order dessert first. I get a nice big bowl of ice cream. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you're you're uh, mm -hmm. a lot of salt on your food. Salt on ice cream, Jordan. It's the best thing. It's really the best thing. Listen, I think I think we were made for each other. I'm putting salt on my chocolate. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh, that's. I was, uh, I was gonna introduce you to my daughter. Oh. I've clearly <laughs> misread almost everything in this situation. That's okay. It happens a lot. I just thought, well, there's the age difference first. Uh, well, I, can we I, be like meant for each other, like uh, best friends? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 yes, of course. Of course. I, I mean, I, 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 I have a best friend. I got a, I got a couple that are going to have to I got to sort through some details in my best friend. Um, okay, but how many of your best friends put as much salt on their food as I do? Well, uh, there's 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 Polly. I learned it I learned it originally from 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 Polly. Hal, uh, Hal, Roberta. <laughs> God, you wouldn't believe how much salt Roberta puts on ice cream. It's just so funny. And then, and then Tony, who I was going to introduce you to, my daughter, you know, but I consider her my best friend because she's, um, I think you're going to have to be like, uh, like third or fourth tier. I, I really misinterpreted a lot of stuff. That's okay. As long as I'm in the group. Yeah. Yeah. We meet uh, every Tuesday because of our hypertension problems. Mm, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should call yourselves Diabetes Anonymous. Wait a minute. That's sugar. What am I talking about? Ah. <laughs> Oh and scene God. that's our scene come on back everybody and give yourselves a round of applause yay <laughs> there's so much bad stuff that we could have <laughs> so much bad stuff uh all right that that was uh that makes me think of long form with the ensemble and the ensemble is angelica smith that i just got to do a scene with thank you so much and mike lawler hey mike lawler and taylor edwards thank you for that scene with you taylor thank you and christine niven and i'm your host scotty watson once again don't forget if you're casting something there's a casting link and also if you really think that this is some cool stuff uh then there's you can donate to ann theater company hey also ann theater company's website you can take a class what the hell and a lot of the people in the ensemble are the ones that teach the classes so i'm just saying that's how you get involved uh thank you very much this was a lot of fun and uh we will see you again next week Keep watching Improv Online.